All right, first real estate agent. I'm super nervous. Number one. I don't know why I hate this so much. Okay. We've got over our script. We're ready. We can do this. Yeah, we got this. Let's go. We're Jenny and Davis. We fly through hurricanes for research and build furniture for fun. A while ago, we came up with a business plan to sell quality furniture, which brings people together. Follow along as we build our business empire. Empire? Yes, Jenny, big goals. Okay, we're starting an empire. Maybe one day it'll span beyond the garage. Welcome back friends. So we actually got quite a bit done in the shop this week, which is really nice. If you guys remember that like big janitorial cart we were talking about in our shop tour video, we finally got that put together. sounds crazy to have like a cart like that just to go back and forth between our kind of small-ish shop but if you think about it when you're making like 50 to 100 of something it gets really redundant and slow to constantly turn from one table to the next for every single piece you have to do so if we can stack all of our materials onto that cart and then just wheel it to the next workbench so we're having to turn less that actually makes a way bigger difference than you think it might We also ordered and installed infeed and outfeed tables for the drum sander and that's been a lot of help also just so we don't have to like babysit each side of the drum sander as much as we used to. So with all of that done, it is finally time for us to start selling. It's a little uncomfortable for us because people buy when they're feeling certain emotions and we're not really good at emotions. We're very logical, like reason-based people. So once we have to start playing in the arena of other people's emotions, we just, we just get kind of weird and like uncomfortable. It, I don't know, it's like, it's difficult. We have emotions, it's just not the primary language that we speak. So what we mean when we say it's emotional is that the decision for somebody to buy something is emotional. You think about how nice it would be if you have it, how you'd feel if you bought that certain item. You envision your future with that brand new item. Even if buying that item does make sense, for you, it's still an emotionally loaded thing. Now, what you buy is logical. I mean, you can go into the model number, what color, what size, what specifications some piece of equipment has. That's logical, the what is logical. But the decision to actually purchase it, that's emotional. We're all guilty of it. Like, tell us down in the comments, what's an emotional purchase you've made recently? I'll be honest with you, we do it too. Everybody does it. Cause you better believe if I wander down that pet aisle at the grocery store, I'm coming home with a dog toy. So what do you do when you have to do something that you don't naturally want to do? You follow the advice of people who do it well. And Jenny and I have spent the last two or three years reading sales books, watching videos, doing interviews. These are all the books that I keep in arm's distance about sales and selling. I just, it, the, the, the topic fascinates and terrifies us at the same time. We've studied psychology, we've gone into storytelling, we've just read regular sales, but we've tried every conceivable way to put sales information in our heads because it comes so unnaturally to us. And it, it's gotten to the point where I don't even know what we're afraid of anymore. It used to be afraid of the unknown. We didn't know what was gonna happen when we tried to sell. Now we know what's gonna happen and we're still uncomfortable about it because it's such an emotionally loaded moment. And Jenny and I don't really work in the realm of emotions often enough. So like I said, we've read all the books, we've listened to all the videos, we've tried to be coachable and we've written a sales script of what to say to these realtors and... Now it's time to just get out there and sell. All right, first real estate agent, I'm super nervous. Number one. I don't know why I hate this so much. 
we're gonna come back with the magic of video editing and show you what it's like after. We've got over our script, we're ready, we can do this. Yeah, we got this. Let's go. I'm going first. 11 minutes later. <sighs> that went so well, just like we said it would. Literally, I, uh, like, in this instance, they actually ended up doing like the majority of the talking or like filling out it, filling in the lines we thought we were going to have to say. We got a script here that we've been reviewing, but yeah. she basically did it all for us. She knew why realtors normally don't give closing gifts. She addressed it and she said, no, this board's really nice. Which tells us they do the research. They understand that people don't use the gifts that they give right. and they're aware enough to know that they need to pivot. So that yeah. was good to hear. Yeah, and uh, she even said she was gonna talk to her partner about it. I mean, I don't know how much of that was lip service, but it seemed genuine, so. And even if it wasn't, like, she's gonna go back to work with a massive cutting board now. Mm-hmm, yep. She's definitely gonna tell somebody about it today. Yeah. And anyway, we just really shocked her. She said this is so unexpected. Yeah. Nobody's ever given her a gift before at an open house, so. To, to keep, too. Right. Okay. So Anyways. our goal today was not to sell anything. Our goal was to give a board and to explain what we do. And we got to do those things, so. Successful. That's success for us. So these open houses are really fun. We've done a few more since, and every single time, it's like a super enjoyable, fun experience. We've written a script that works super duper well for us. It flows super well for every realtor. We're not gonna post that here. We post that in the stud set because that's what the guys and girls that are paying for. But it, like, we were shocked at how well it, it worked for us. And nobody's gone off script. We've pretty much thought of everything. So I don't know why we don't trust ourselves. We've done the homework. We should know and kind of expect more in the future that it will work. So here's what we're doing. We're walking into these open houses and we are giving the realtor an engraved cutting board. It's got their information engraved on the back. It's got the letter of their first name engraved on the front. And our whole goal is to send this real estate agent on the emotional journey that we want them to experience. We're, we've got a little packaging, they're gonna open it up, they're in the house, and they see the beautiful board, they see that we've done the home, we've never met these people before. And we're walking in, giving them something personalized, and then we're telling them it's a gift. We're not trying to sell anything. We're just giving them a board free of charge so that they have the emotional experience that they're trying to give to their new homeowners if they use that board as a closing gift. Now I get it, does it make sense? I can hear you guys typing comments right now. It doesn't make sense because we're giving away something that costs us $30 to make. That's, that's how much these boards cost us in materials and labor. But it's worth it to us to send that real estate agent on an emotional journey because if we came in there and we just started giving them the 10 reasons why this is the best closing gift in the world, they'd kick us out or call the cops. And that's just not how sales works. Giving them the emotional roller coaster of receiving a really nice gift, they're gonna connect the dots. They're gonna think, if I had this much fun with this gift, imagine how the new homeowners are gonna be in their new house and they get a new gift. So we're making a calculated emotional move. We understand that the logic of just this move doesn't make sense, but in the bigger picture, we're gambling on the fact that these real estate agents are gonna buy these boards from us going forward in the future. So bottom line, we've done all the logic, now it's time to make the irrational emotional move, which will then give us what we want. And this emotional roller coaster, it's a ride, guys. Like, we have gotten such good feedback by doing this method to the realtors, whether in person or on social media, whatever it may be. Like, it worked. Like, they responded like we thought they would. They were shocked that they were receiving a board for free. They they even used the word kindness multiple times. People would say, that's so kind of you. What an act of kindness. And they were so happy that they would tell us, I'm, I'm gonna send you my business. You are now my premier cutting board supplier just because you took them on a positive emotional ride. And I think they also respected the fact that we didn't waste their time by simply listing the reasons of why they should build that cutting board because they get those phone calls, they get those messages all the time. So I think they also respected the fact that we didn't want to do that to them. We've even had some really good responses on Instagram. We need to be able to do this well on Instagram as well as in person. Because what if we get another shutdown for COVID and we can't go out and do open houses anymore? We need to make our in-person strategy just as successful as our social media strategy. And I think that's a really great lesson for everybody to learn is that just because you get really good at doing something in one avenue doesn't mean you should stay there. You need to kind of have a breadth of experience or an ability to do something successfully on a bunch of different avenues or mediums. Because what did we learn in 2020? 
things can get shut down pretty quickly. And if you're not flexible enough, or at least have experience enough to do things in a different way or pivot or move, things aren't gonna go very well for you. But that's basically it. Like the jitters are gone. We don't get super nervous pulling up to these open houses anymore. It's just, this is gonna be our reality for the next couple of years, just trying to get this business rolling. Jenny and I have been using the metaphor of like, we're on top of a hill and we're trying to push this really heavy boulder off the top of the mountain. It's gonna take a lot of force to get it pushed, but once it starts rolling, it should start rolling fast. So that's, we're hopeful that our business model is gonna work. Um, we don't really see any reason why it shouldn't. We've been working on this for a couple of years now. It's just nice to finally be able to start doing what we've been trying to do from the beginning. So we're really excited. We've gotten a couple orders so far and we hope to have many, many more in the future. Thank you all so much for watching us on this journey and keeping up with us. Um, all of YouTube is watching. There's a lot of pressure on us for this to, to work well. So uh, we're hoping that we can share our lessons with you and you can sort of watch us and celebrate with us um, as things go uh, the right way. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna keep watching and uh, hit the like button if you thought this video was helpful. Again, we'd love to hear your comments down below about your emotional purchases, whether it's ice cream at two in the morning or uh, whatever, or a new tool, just whatever it is, we'd love to hear the story. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.